Welcome back to Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Alright, so I've dropped Ishtfan's body into the Abyss. And now I have another optional objective, which is to talk to King Vradik. I don't actually know where King Vradik is. So the first thing I'm going to try is going down here. Okay. That is not it. That was not the place to go. In that case, let's try going over here. It's an awful lot of mana. Kicking ass and breaking pottery. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, how do I kill you? Um, is there something I can make fall on your face? Oh god, get away from me! Ooh, height. Shouldn't be able to get me up here. Oh crap. Oh no! Did <laughs> did it just grab the archer and kill him? What an asshole! Oh no! <laughs> All right, that is not working. There we go. Ah. I need to wait for it to make some sort of an attack so that its face gets closer to the ground. Like that. Come on, that was totally... it went right through his head. Oh god. If I get hit by that, I'm so dead. I don't... what the hell did I do? Oh crap, I just took the wrong potion. I meant to take my health potion. I think I took stone skin. Like two of them. Don't kick me off the ledge, don't kick me off the ledge, don't kick me off the ledge! I was trying to go into my inventory to eat a mushroom, but I died before that. Oh. Alright, let's try again. Alright, that deals with that problem. Oh, come on. This is going much, much better. Ah, 
Ah. Wasn't even an optional objective. Still feel satisfying, though. Whoa, what the? Oh! Jesus! Fucking Christ! <laughs> I did not expect that. Holy crap. I was literally falling. Uh, the only reason I escaped is because I actually uh, held down the space, the space bar, which allowed me to grapple up. Or, uh, mantle up, I think is the right term. Oh! Okay. Okay. Um... Oh, hey, it looks like that's a thing to maybe take out the Cyclops. Looks like if I shot that... Let's just put myself in the path of this thing for maximum demonstration. Yeah, see? It would have been like this! See? Reenactment. Wait, why did that kill me? I had four hit points left. That's weird. You're not dead, but you're dead? They scripted it to mean death? Even though it wasn't necessarily death? I don't know. Weird. Hmm. I'm looking for secrets. I feel like I could make that jump. Actually, you know what? I could definitely make that jump if I glitched it. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do that. What's over here? Oh, hey! What a lonely health potion. It's obviously a wall that can be broken. Uh, I think from the other side, though. Unless I'm strong enough to break it. I don't think I'm that strong. Nah. Could also jump to the hole. What the heck is in there? Hmm. I'm kind of scared, because I don't think I'm supposed to be over here. Because I glitched my way over here, so... But then again, it looks like you are actually supposed to get here somehow. But I don't know how. Was there somewhere to shoot a rope arrow? I don't get it. Oh, I did not do that right. But it's fine. Alright, let's see what's up here first. Maybe I have to go the other way anyway. Let's go follow those cool orbs. Ah, right, I need to get up this. Hmm. I feel like I might be able to mantle. Oh, so close. There's nothing to shoot an arrow into, is there? I don't see anything. Well, I can shoot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Never mind. things. Look how cool they are. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like maybe I am actually supposed to go to the other side. Because this doesn't actually go anywhere. Oh, what the hell? That is not the angle I was trying to go. Ah, oh, yeah, so I think this is how you're supposed to get across. Mm-hmm. 
let's just get this thing out of here. Kind of makes me nervous. That wasn't quite right. <laughs> Let's try and use my momentum. I think if you jump like right after you hit the rope, you keep your momentum, I want to say. Let's try it. Uh, that didn't quite work. Nah, looks like you don't. what I jump to. Oh, maybe I just go all the way down and then jump? Yeah, that's probably what you're supposed to do. <coughs> Not exactly the most elegant solution, but it works. Alright. Ooh, a little transition. I uh, hope I'm not skipping talking to King Vradic. I don't know. It is an optional objective, so it, it definitely is missable. Two seconds of night vision before it becomes blindingly bright. Such a useful skill, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, fuck. Nope. Have none of that. Do I have to do something? Nope. Whoa. Ah, that whole thing's a pressure plate. That's a big pressure plate. This place is large. Also, that is a tiny, tiny tree. Why are they on concrete? Or stone, rather. It's kind of weird. Usually plants don't grow from stone. Especially not man-made stone. Well, I suppose the stone isn't man-made, but man... crafted and assembled? Anyway. These piles of, like, body parts make the grossest noises. It's like it's still wet. I feel like I'm missing something in this room. Is there really nothing in here but a magic mushroom and a trap? Can't open any of these? Stealthy with my glowing sword. They'll never see me. I'm like a firefly in the shadows. Only I haven't been cancelled. Ah, what am I doing? Who cares? Ooh, a thingy. Needs a key. Oh, 
Oops, did not mean to do that. Oh, thank God. I just saved my life. I think he sees me. Unfortunately, though, he doesn't seem to know what to do with himself. You know what? Let's go ahead and use a spell. I've got like two bajillion of them. Uh, lightning bolt. Fireball. Oh my god. Alright. I, I can't... I can't see where I'm casting the fireball. It's in my face. What? Ugh. <laughs> Is he actually dead? I did, that didn't even kill him. All right, let's go finish the job myself. My God, it's dark in here. Stop me. Go to his left, Come on, into the meat grinder. Flank him. Get me some help here. I need backup. Stop right there. Come on, let's let's see him. I really am incredibly powerful. Ooh, do any of them have a key on them by chance? I should say when I mouse over their body, I think. Where where do the rest of their bodies go? Did they disappear? I see lots of swords and lots of bloodstains, but not a lot of bodies. I think they might have disappeared. That's weird. I guess I just can't open that chest unless I'm uh, a thief character with lockpicking. This place is definitely trapped. Very, very trapped. There's no way that would break it! What?! I just broke the support beam by throwing a, a, a vase at it, I think that was, or a jar. <laughs> okay. These things are going to blow fire at me, aren't they? No? That <laughs> almost crushed me. Wait, what's the point of that? Huh. He is ours. What the? That was weird. Leeches? Liches? I've never heard it pronounced leeches. I see my son has laid his mark on you. There you go. Well, looks like I talked to King Braddock. That was a short conversation. I can see you!
That was not even close to challenging. Yeah, the difficulty in this game seems to have just shot straight down towards the end. It's super easy now. Find and take the Skull of Shadows from Aaron here. Oh, I think we're at the end of the game. Well, in that case, let me see if I can spend my skill points anywhere. Slight percent increase to my chance to do double damage. Not exactly exciting. Poison resistance? Eh. Doesn't really matter what I put my points in at this point, to be honest. I'll just do this. More damage. Sure. Lamontian the Healer. May his crypt sucker, sucker, those of pure heart. Is that like a mini boss? Hmm. High Priest Lamontian. May he always walk in the light. Oh, it's closing behind me. Hello? What the? I hear things screaming outside for some reason. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I think I can get up there. Yeah, I don't know what the point of this room is. But I think I can definitely get up there. For some reason, there's screaming monsters outside. Oh, come on. Sometimes the arrows really don't go straight. on the other side? Mm. 
A couple full health potions, a mana potion, and a scroll of fireball. Eh. Didn't really need that stuff, but whatever. It's a secret. Oh god, no! Yeah, they're just waiting for me outside. Look at him. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Blammo. And it didn't even kill them. Alright, that didn't quite work, right? Yeah, I don't really know what the purpose of that entire room was. Was it just for that secret? I thought I'd have to, like, fight the person in the crypt as, like, a mini-boss or something. Two ways to go. I feel like that's the way you're supposed to go. It looks like it's going to lead to a loading zone. So what's over here? This is just a place for uh, someone who has the lockpicking skill. Jettisoned myself into the loading zone again. It's our last hope. We must take it back. Where? Don't let it corrupt you, Seraph. Fight its lure. Arantir cannot vanquish the two of us. Where did she come from? How... how did she get here? Huh.
Oh my. Okay, yeah, this is the final fight. I remember this. Oh yeah. <laughs> there he is, of course, doing his chants or whatever to the the demons. Who the hell knows? I don't know. It's a Hellgate, you know, chanting, fantasy, generic stuff, blah blah blah. I just need to get down. Get away from me. Huh? <laughs> Did someone spot her? Uh, let me see if there's stairs down. Oh, here we go. Calm down, Liana. It's okay. Surprise! Oh my god, he's really going for her. I feel so bad for him. Just a ragdoll getting kicked downstairs over and over. Alright, hold on. I need to um, fix my potion situation. Because I'm going to be using these a lot, I'm sure. I'm not going to need that anymore. I, sh of course, should always be using my shield, but I don't, because screw that. I'm not going to need that. So, health potions... Let's just put my magic mushroom there first. Stone skin should be useful. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's honestly, like, no way I can lose unless I just mismanage my potions and, you know, don't get to them before I die. Because I have nine magic mushrooms, which restore me to full health. I have 15 full health potions, 20 normal health potions, and nine stone skin. Not to mention some food. So, yeah, I'm good. Let's go, Aaron Tear. Aaron Tear! It's a... Oh, your buddy... Pleasant. These are two sides of the same coin. But demons, the magics of Urgash and Chaos, they are pure destruction. A negation of all that exists. And you, the ultimate abomination of two souls, one hearts, two hearts. One foot here and one in here. I will never permit you to open that. Ah! You're a cursed father. <laughs> And only the sacrifice of the souls of Stonehelm uh, can gap. Did I just kill it? <sighs> did I really just kill it? That was it? Oh, okay. Oh no, it's back! <sighs> Hit it, it's bony tail. It's somehow bleeding even though it's pure bone. I, d I don't get it, but okay. <sighs> Okay, so he becomes vulnerable after I uh, take the dragon out. This, <laughs> this boss fight's amazing. Uh, can you feel the, the tensity, the tenseness, the drama? Just like take the thing, or do I have to actually defeat him? No, I have to defeat him. Okay. Oh crap, I missed my time. Hold on, let me heal. 
Magic mushroom. Come on. Get down here. Of System Shock 2. Uh, so yeah, if I don't bring it to him, what, what do I do? Do I just, like, walk out? Use this goal on the altar to master its power for yourself, or take it to the pyramid to free your father. <laughs> Wait, so my options are to either let my demonic father take control or take control myself, except the problem is I'm kind of a demon. Although, yeah, I've been purified, I guess. But still, it's pretty egotistical. Either, I mean, it's either help a demon or become, like, a super powerful god myself. Can I just, like, destroy it so that nobody has the power? Because I don't think anybody should have the power. Well, guess I'll take power myself. Ten centuries shall the fortress stand. Walls of spirit wrapped in walls of fire. And horned lords shall bow their heads to one not yet born of the darkest sire. One century of blood and strife. The moon shall darken and none know why. The resting place at last is found of the seventh who soared so high. Archer, you've grown as weak as your mother! Curse you, Aunt Isabel, for failing me! Have strength, Zareth! Use some of mine if you must! Ah! Hurry! Enough! Let the work begun by the Seventh Dragon be finished, here today, by my hand! Side, the Chained One is left alone. The Relic's power yet untapped, and Ashan's fate still yet unknown. And there we go. <laughs> that is the end. The very awkward and incredibly cliched end of Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Yeah, so just a quick kind of summary of this game. It's fun and it's also incredibly stupid. I really did not remember just how horrendous the story is. It's just the most generic, ridiculous fantasy plot ever. It cannot possibly be more generic. Just wizards and orcs and goblins and ancient skulls of power and a quest and a demon father and summonings and bleh. It's it's so bad that it's actually kind of funny. You know, it's not exactly so bad it's funny in like the way the room is or something like that. But it's pretty funny. It's completely ridiculous. But aside from that, it's just a pretty damn fun game. It's it's complete nonsense, but with the gameplay, with all of the, especially with all the physics interactions and the pretty cool combat system, it just makes for some really satisfying movement and combat. 
You know, shooting rope arrows everywhere and climbing up and down, and all sorts of vertical traversal, looking for secrets and kicking stuff around and breaking it and kicking people downstairs and... It's just really, really fun to play. You know, there's all these just really cool interactions between stuff. Throwing stones at people to stun them, kicking them downstairs, and then stabbing them in the as a finishing move, and just all sorts of cool stuff. I think that's where most of the fun for, for the game comes from, really. Because it doesn't really do much that's exceptional. I mean, it's a decent looking game, it's got that going for it. But aside from that, I mean, you know, the, the writing's crap, the voice acting is mediocre, and... It doesn't really do much that's terribly interesting, except for kind of the fairly open level design and all the fun physics interactions and the combat. I think all of that stuff is enough to... It's enough to keep the game interesting. Especially since it doesn't really outstay its welcome. I mean, it's about a 10-hour game. Which is... Maybe, given the horrible plot, maybe a little bit longer than it should be. But, you know, it's, it's not horribly long. So I wouldn't say it's short and sweet, but it definitely doesn't horribly outstay its welcome. It doesn't go on so long that all those physics interactions and stuff become boring. So, yeah, I think it's carried by the combat and all the physics and stuff like that. Which I guess is, uh, kind of because of the Source Engine. It's built on the Source Engine, and the Source Engine is particularly good at having those sorts of things. So, good choice of engine. Ah, so, there you go. That has been Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching.